sad or supposed to be you guys are the best you guys are the nation. Um, obviously you guys have the experience, the talent, the so, but what are some things statistically you guys have to improve on to actually Um one of our big goals right now is being first and third round third first and third down um pass pass defense. So that's our first goal right there. Right last year it was probably I think third in the, in the country. So this year we want to be first. That's gonna be that's gonna be the difference. Just us being uh, nine, nine, ten, nine team win to being like an undefeated or ten plus win team. One thing I have the experience as well, but what you guys in what the image what did you work on to get better this you did last year? This is not just showing up saying I played last year, but I want to work on this and show it on the field. I worked on my football IQ. Uh, understanding the down distance on the game, knowing where, where, where the marks of the sticks are, knowing what plays I might get from the offense. Uh, my coach teaches us a lot of understanding plays we might get on first down, plays we might get on second down, understanding like if it's second and ten, you know, we might get a, a third and short. They want to try to get for a third and short, or if it's third and third and three, it's probably going to be run, or third and long, you know, they probably go to the sticks, stuff like that. So just understanding what we might get, play to play. What do you think about the uh, preseason ranking? I know a lot of talk about the hype you guys are getting, but over under properly rated for 13. Um, well, we we are we definitely happy to be where we are. You know, it's a start. Uh, we we we, uh, we fell out of the rankings at one point, and for us to be back in the in the talk for it, um, we definitely appreciate the acknowledgement. Um, you know, we're not going to just let that you know sink in and let us think like we arrived or anything like that because you know it is a preseason ranking. We still have to go out there and ball out game to game and. Cool what we can do. Yeah. How beneficial is it to have a guy like Devin Leary yes. uh, throw it against you in practice? Oh, it's great. It's very great. Like, um, comes down today, like, he saw us communicating on defense. I knew a route it was about to run, and they checked, they checked to a different route just in time. So, you know, they kind of caught me on my toes a little bit. So, it's great to have a guy like that to see what we're trying to do and um, actually have, still have a way to beat us. So, having a guy like that that can see the defense, understand what's going on. You know, that's great for us to have because it's challenging me too to understand like I can't just be out here knowing what's about to happen and try to break on the ball. I gotta actually stay on my toes too and be ready to play. Some of these experienced guys in the secondary. Uh the communication this year is, is like ten times better. Um last year, you know, experience was there but it wasn't as experienced for as a group. But this year, you know, a lot of guys played a lot of ball last year. So the experience is definitely there. The communication is like very much higher. A lot of guys know what's going on. You know, a lot of young guys played last year, so those guys that came back again this year, they are still back us, but they still you know understand what's going on. So it also brings more competition to the room as well.